Hey, this is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Today I'm going to be talking about West System Epoxy, uh, specifically the 205, 206, and 207 uh, hardeners. Uh, but the mixture is really what I'm talking about. I got a question on my casting video, uh, one of them on YouTube, I believe it was from Michael, and he asked how yellow uh, does the 205 turn? And to be honest, I don't know. You know, was kind of my answer. Um, I have cast, uh, and it was actually 206 hardener, uh, a tube in mold where, where the tube is sitting in there and you just put the, the epoxy over it. And from what I had remembered, it was fairly yellow, but at the same time, it's a tube. You see the tube, and uh, I wasn't certain exactly how yellow it actually turned. So I decided to do a little bit of a test, and I, uh, using this mold, I, I cast uh, 206, 205, um, and 207 up here. Now the 207 is dead clear, and so I did want to cast that. I knew it was going to be like you know glass clear, uh, but that would give me kind of an idea in comparison to the other stuff. So um, basically, it, it appears that the 205 is pretty pretty yellow. Uh, it is holding up to the light you know, it's definitely yellow tinted. Um, the 206 is tinted yellow, but it's a little bit less uh, in comparison. Uh, the 205 is is pretty yellow. I mean, uh, I mentioned it was kind of like apple juice, and that's, that's what it looks like to me. I'm going to get a tight shot of all these things uh, closer up. Uh, I also decided to throw some wood in there. And uh, let's see, this is the 206. Um, looking at the wood, now I didn't like sand it or do anything, I just kind of took some chunks. Uh, I think this is maple. Looking at it, it actually looks pretty decent. Um, I, that was one of the questions I actually had and part of the reason why I wanted to do this test. Uh, I was thinking that it would probably give it the kind of amber glow <laughs> that, that people like oil finishes for. And it, and it really does, it, it doesn't look that bad. It depends on what you're going for. If you need something to be dead clear, I would not use 205 or 206. Um, I would go straight with the 207. Now, I think the 207 is more expensive. So, um, And looking at this walnut, this actually looks really good. Uh, this is the 205. Actually, I did both of these on 205 um, because I didn't really care what the 206 looked like necessarily. Um, but the walnut looks actually in there looks pretty nice. Now I, I haven't polished this and done anything like that, but they look okay if you're going for wood and you're looking for a kind of a nice warm tone to it, it actually makes it look pretty good. Now that compares to the 207, which I cast some wood in the 207, the clear, just to see. And it looks fine, uh, but it it really doesn't, there's no, you know, it just looks like the piece of wood when I put it in there, really, uh, on the, the maple. Let's see what this walnut looks like. The walnut looks okay. Uh, it looks fairly similar to how it went in, though. Uh, there's really no warmth to it. It's just, you know, wood in underneath uh, resin. So, uh, but looking at the... Looking at the three, there's some parts of this that are dead clear, and I mean, it's you're talking like you know glass compared to kind of 205 is definitely apple juice looking, and uh, 206 is has got a tint to it. It's yellow, um, but frankly, it doesn't look that bad. So I guess it depends on what you're really going for. Now, if you ask me, I don't think I'd use. I believe that he was talking about using a mold that was like 8 inches by 12 inches or I don't know, something, a fairly big pour. And, uh, you know, that pretty much eliminates Illumilite for the most part. Um, I wouldn't use that. Uh, polyester resin, however, is way the heck cheaper than this stuff, than this epoxy, especially West System epoxy. So uh, polyester resin is dead clear. If you're going for dead clear, I would definitely recommend using polyester resin. It, it it operates very similarly to this stuff, it just smells terrible. But for the price of West System Epoxy, I would use polyester resin all day if I'm going for clear. Now, to be honest, 
I don't really have too much of a problem with this, uh, you know, the wood in there. It doesn't make it look that bad. So I guess it depends on really what you're trying to do with it, but it, it will warm it up a little bit, I guess, but it, you know, it, it's adding some amber color to it. Um, I'm going to get some pictures and I'll probably zoom in with the, the video camera and just to kind of go through all these things and show you what this mold is like. And I'll do that right now. All right, so what's going on with this mold is these are the 207s, which is that dead clear stuff. Uh, this is a 206 empty pour. I just wanted to see what the tone was compared to the 205. Uh, with, this is an empty pour. Uh, you can see it, you know, without the wood on the ends here. So I didn't really want to pour another 207, especially this stuff is expensive. Um, and then these two on the end are 205, uh, both, but they're with the wood. Um, I wanted to bring these over. This is what I put in there. Uh, just a little bit of maple and a little bit of walnut. So it's just your typical what you think of. So um, I don't know if uh, I'll probably have to take pictures of this too, but when you hold this up, you know, it's definitely amber. Uh, am I on the camera? It's definitely an amber tone to that. That's the 206, but it's lighter than the 205 which is definitely yellow. I mean, that's that's very yellow. But even when you look at 205 versus 206, this one has more amber. Uh, you know, it looks like honey in a sense. This is a little bit lighter uh, yellow. So, then when you look at these things though, uh, these, although they do kind of brighten up the wood, I mean, it, 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 it definitely makes it look nice uh, with the clear, um, but it's really light. There's really not much going on there. You're not adding any amber tone to it. Uh, and then with this, uh, you know, it's, it's still pretty clear. It does actually make it look uh, finished, but it, it's like the kind of water-based finish, you know, lacquer um, on top of, you know, non, no oil on the wood. Now when you get into these two, these guys actually look like you put a little bit of oil possibly in there. It's adding that warmer tone to the wood. Um, and, you know, it, it depends on what you're going for, I, I guess is what I'd say. So I'm gonna shoot some pictures because I can't tell if I'm really getting uh, what's going on here. But like I said, in the end, clear. Uh, if you wanna go for lacquer look, uh, you know, with wood in there, that's not too bad, the clear, and if you're going for something where it has to be dead clear, you got to use the, the 207. Uh, if you're going for something where you want a little bit of amber tone, um, 205 is not too bad. Now, it definitely looks good with walnut. Uh, this uh, maple, okay, I, I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't sand this stuff, but it definitely adds a little bit of warmth. So, uh, I'll get some photos, we'll do a little photo shoot with this, and then uh, we'll uh, hang it up. 